Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. I have spent over 2000 scrib during the spring sale to buy dozens of 3 stars armor pieces. I must confess, things could have gone much worse. It has been a while since I have made a Prevere sale compilation, but that's because my luck in the previous sales has been disgraceful. When you roll 50 useless legendaries, it's not really worth covering, is it now? Anyway, I managed to get some decent rolls this time in a 2600 script session, which allowed me to purchase 58 legendary armor pieces with 3 stars. We did have a display bug this time, but the prices applied correctly, at least to me, and I paid 45 script instead of 60 with the 25% discount. By the way, how was your luck during this sale? I did get lots of junk, but I also got a few decent and even great legendaries. For a change. As usual, I will present each item's value and the average sale price to give you guys and girls a general idea of how much each item is worth. Let's jump right into the rolling, rolling, rolling. I mean, purchases, of course. Alright, another 25% off Prevere sale went live this past weekend, and I was very skeptical about rolling anything, honestly. But well, I had 1k script in both of my characters, so I had nothing to lose by simply rolling and hoping for the best. I decided to do a full session for armor pieces, especially because some of my unwielding armor could use an upgrade. So here's how it went. We didn't start in the best way possible, I first rolled an auto sim leather piece, 1 agility and reduced weight on food and 8 items. Nothing special, really, just script material. Then I rolled another auto sim marine chest with 1 endurance and decreased limb damage. You should script it or use it in a new character if you really have no better piece for your chest. The next one was a troubleshooter wood armor piece with 1 endurance and the cavalier stat, which is pretty okay, but the other stats are horrible, so I would say script it too. My first great roll was this chameleon raider piece with 1 intelligence and 20% weight decrease on junk items. Now, that's a very solid legendary armor for stealthy builds. It's worth at least 1000 caps, too bad there aren't many chameleon armor uses around anymore. My fifth roll was a vanguard wood chest with okayish stats, 1 agility and increased sweet spots while picking logs. I know wood armor sucks, but it's still a 3 stars vanguard, so you could sell it as a fill piece to someone who's missing the chest part for vanguard. I would say 1k caps is a fair price, however, don't expect it to sell quickly. Nobody really wants to wear wood armor, the defense stats are horrible and it looks bad. I mean, it's like you roped some wood chunks into your body, nobody wants to look like that, just saying. Next, I rolled an Exterminator's Raider piece with radiation resistance and decreased junk item weight. The minor effects are decent, but the major effect is awful, so scrip, scrip, scrip. I would recommend the same for this cloaking scout armor piece. One lock is fine, but the other two stats are pretty weak. I mean, if you have a stealth build, you could have one piece with cloaking, but that's about it. Now we have a nocturnal scout armor chest with one charisma and cavalier, 75% chance to block 15 damage while sprinting. I'm not a fan of Nocturnal, but the other two stats are great, plus Scout Armor has a really good defense. I would consider selling or using this piece until you find a better one, of course. This Ghoul Slayer Metal Leg is a great candidate for the script machine. I wouldn't think twice. Let's not think about the good stats anymore, the same goes for this Nocturnal Combat Armor Leg. At least this one has terrible stats, 100% script. Oh yeah. On the other hand, this nocturnal trapper chest could be useful with the weapon weight reduction. It's surely worth something, but it's not a great item, just a decent one. Especially for alt and mule characters. Holy moly, what is this? Three nocturnal pieces in a row. This is so rigged. 
more sweet spot on picking locks too? Bleh. Scrip it all, my friends. Scrip it all. This auto seam leather leg is a right, it has poison resistance and again weapons weight reduction. Ideal for mule and old characters. Next we have an assassin's trapper piece with one intelligence and damage reduction while blocking. It's really not a bad legendary for PvP. You could try to sell it for around 1k caps or around it. I wouldn't want to keep this hunter's leather leg, just scrip it as soon as possible. Now, things change a little bit about this unwielding a leather leg with poison resistance and limb damage reduction. I won't lie, this is far from being a perfect or a great item, but it's a decent one. I would sell it for about 1-2k caps, just because it's unwielding and it's a high demand item. Next, we have a life-saving raider arm with 1 endurance and weight reduction on food and aid items, another ok roll that can sell for some hundreds of caps. This bolstering scout armor is pretty useless, if you want a low HP build you should use unwielding instead, you get so much more value out of it, you know, what must be done here. The exact same goes for this cloaking a wood armor piece, not worth using or selling it really. Oh my, that is a really great roll, this vanguard metal arm has some amazing stats, poison resistance and cavaliers with a 75% chance to block 15 damage while sprinting. This is a rare drop and a lot of people would pay thousands of caps to get this sort of effect combination. I would say 3k is the minimum bargain price for this one. Make sure to keep it if you are using a vanguard build yourself. Anyhow, this life-saving combat leg is pretty useless, more script for me, I don't complain. Regenerating items are great for new or old characters without a healing factor mutation. The one strength bonus is a plus, but still this is not an endgame legendary. I would script it or use it in a weak alt if you have one. This poisoner's leather leg is really bad, so don't even bother. Script, script, script. The same goes for this cloaking robot chest and the nocturnal metal leg too. They have some really awful and weak effects. Well, we have another cloaking metal piece with standard effects. Nothing special, a more scrib for the following days. Hmm. Surprisingly, this bolstering for a scout piece is not too bad with the one luck and the junked item weight reduction. It's worth something for sure, but don't get your hopes up there. This mutant slayer's leg has limb damage and one intelligence. Mm, nope, scrip it. Now we have the zealot's scout armor chest with radiation resistance and sentinels. 75% chance to reduce 15 damage while standing still. Very good minor effects. I recommend this armor if you fight a lot of scorch, like you basically only do scorch earth events or something alike. Other than that, tough luck, the major effect is bad, what can we do? Oh mamma mia, what do we have here? Another vanguard piece with decent stats? Is it real? One strength and junk weight reduction, yep, that's a pretty good one, I would sell it for at least 2-3k caps. Again, not perfect, but it's pretty good. Next we have an exterminator scout armor with cavaliers. Man, I'm getting so much amazing minor effects, but terrible major ones. Such a shame. Wow, I am really impressed. A Vanguard once again, and with decent stats too. One strength and harder to detect while sneaking. I mean, it could be much worse. It's a fine Vanguard piece. Robot has also decent defense, so I would sell this one for 2-3k caps, maybe. Anyway, this auto steam combat armor is alright, radiation resistance and junk weight reduction. It's a very average item, I would say, but it's worth something at least. The same can be said about this Safecracker's Raider piece with action point refresh and player damage reduction. Pretty decent for PvP as obvious. Well, we have another decent legendary for PvP with the Assassin's Major Effect, plus 1 endurance and 50% more durability. The previous item is a bit better for PvP though with the stamina refresh. 
Seriously? Three assassin roles in a row? Just like it happened with the Nocturnal before. Something feels off with this RNG system. Uh, this one is terrible though, with armor with limb damage, uh, hell no. I swear, I keep rolling cavalier effects on these worthless major effects. Troubleshooter, Hunter, Nocturnal, mm, yeah, just script it all, please. What did I just say? Here we go again, now on Zealots and Forest Scout armor, oh my goodness. Yeah, this one is surely worth something though, it also has radiation resistance. This would be perfect on a vanguard or unwielding armor piece, by the way. This auto steam marine piece is an offering to the script machine, trust me. This exterminator ladder leg will follow the last item, just watch me. This bolstering radar arm allows you to breathe underwater, but I would say to let it breathe inside the legendary machine instead, what do you think? Hmm? Oh no, Chameleon on wood. I have script for my two characters for at least one week. I'm sure of that. Oh look, it's another forest scout armor with cavaliers. Now with mutant slayer. Hell yeah, everything I ever wanted. You can have everything in life, this is proof of that. This type of item is worth around 1k caps. Holy crap, more cavaliers with disease resistance. Yes, I know you are taking the piss on me game <sighs> with life saving. It's not the worst, but it's also far from being great. This assassin forest coat armor has some fine effects. One charisma and weight reduction on food and aid items. I mean, PvPers also need to eat, right? And they use buffs as well, so I would say this is a good item for PvP in general. I would sell it for a few thousands of caps. Next, we have a chameleon metal chest with not so good effects, more script for my collection. Ay ay ay. The following two rolls are also as trendy as my toilet paper farming guide, it's more like a joke, really. Well, at least his regenerating forest coat armor is decent with one charisma and the cavalier's effect. Oh wow, that's a pretty decent roll, alright? It would fit alternative defensive builds very well. Back to the script business with Zealot Leather, Ghoul Slayer Combat and Zealot Wood. Aw, so perfect for free scripting. No farming needed in this case. Now, let me present you another regenerating leather piece with, you know what it is, of course, Cavalier. And one perception, hell yeah, hell the RNG system. It's a fine piece, you can try to sell it for about 1k caps, I would say. This mutant slayer robot chest will surely not weigh down this crib machine, so make sure to deliver it there. On the other hand, this beautiful unwielding robot leg is a really good legendary. A rare drop with some fine effects. One agility and junk weight reduction. Now, that's pretty good. Of course, stamina regeneration or cavaliers would be better here, but it is how it is. This item is worth at least 3 to 5k caps. You can go even higher if you want. Moving on, this bolstering forest scout leg with reduced limb damage is better off in your inventory as scrip. However, this bolstering robot leg is worth something with the one endurance and the mighty cavalier that strikes again in its glory. The value for this item is around 1k caps. My last roll was a vanguard, surprisingly. Too bad it's a goddamn wood piece, and that's a pity. It has one charisma, that's great, but it also has fall damage reduction. So it's not such a great item in the end. I would say it's only worth about 1k caps, but you can go for two if you really want to. You might be able to sell it that way. Hmm, who knows? I must say that I'm really happy with this Prevere sale session. Actually, I think it was my most balanced one ever. I got a lot of value out of my 2600 script. I only got a few great rolls, that's true, but I also got dozens of decent rolls which hold some value. 
Anyway, it's normal to get mostly script material roles and I think anyone who usually goes to the Prevere and takes advantage of the sales has learned that by now. In the end, I got 5 Vanguard armor pieces and 2 unwielding pieces. Yes, I know some of them were wood, but still, that's a pretty good rate for one single sale. I also rolled 5 assassin armor pieces and lots of life-saving, nocturnal and bolstering pieces with really great minor effects. What surprised me the most though was the number of times that I rolled legendary items with cavaliers and sentinel minor stats, since these are some of the strongest and most wanted effects in in-game legendary items. I managed to roll 9 Cavaliers and 3 Sentinels. That's like the most I have ever rolled in my Fallout 76 life. I really don't know what happened there. It was also very strange to roll 3 Nocturnal and then 3 Assassin rolls in a row. Maybe the RNG system was a bit buggy during this sale. I really don't know. What about you guys? How lucky or unlucky were you during this spring sale? Also, did you experience any strange things with your roles? Do let me know in the comment section below, I would like to know it. That's it for this Prevera sales video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you learned something new about legendary armor prices. I know the Prevere can be a source of true disappointment, but in this case, things were different for me. As I mentioned before, I am usually very unlucky with my rolls. I get so much crap that I don't even bother making videos about it most of the time. Anyway, I am thinking about hosting another screenshot event for Easter this year on my Discord, just to let you know. I will wrap the video here. I am Marta Branco. Thank you so much for all the support. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed the content and if you would like to support me even further then become a member here or unlock one of my tiers at my Patreon page. The links are right below the video. Now I will see you all in the next one very very soon. Until then, take care, adios, bye bye!